Hi, this is SJ Talks in Life coming back at you with another video. I want to show you guys my dinner that I'm having. And I want to talk about the Dollar General closings. I got some fresh be uh, I don't want to use that spoon. I got some fresh green beans going on here. I got fresh green beans. I got rice. And I'm making my steak, uh, cube steak. I'm going to have cube steak, fried, oh, people like to call it chicken fried steak with gravy. So that's what I'm having for my dinner today. Chicken fried steak with gravy, cube steak, gravy. Check out my other video that I did on that one. And my green beans and my rice. I'll put a little sugar. Let me know how you guys like your rice. Do you like your rice? Some people like to put... <laughs> some people like to put butter and pepper or butter and salt, whatever. Some people like to put butter and sugar. I'm a butter and sugar type of person. But I don't use that much. I just use just a little bit to taste. And some people might think that's gross. Even though I put gravy on it, I still like a little sugar. I like, I'm a sugar and butter girl lady <laughs> do you like salt tell me how you like your rice do you like salt and butter pepper and salt or sugar and butter but anyway I want to talk about the um, um, Dollar General's our closing um, they're gonna be closing some Dollar General's I read an article about it uh, <coughs> elder did a video about it and uh, <coughs> wrote articles about her they wrote articles about it. Uh, just read a couple of articles about it. And um, I guess they're going to be closing. I, it didn't make sense to me because it said they were going to open over a thousand stores. But then they were going to close some. And my guess is, what my guess is that, um, first of all, if you guys didn't catch my video or where I was talking about, I did a video where I was um, showing you um the, the Dollar General store that's around the corner from me is a hot mess versus another one that's in another neighborhood, in another area. Uh, they have that store all neat and all together. I actually, I'll put the link to that video in the description, but I did a video where I was comparing the stores. I'm going to put the link to that video in the description box. But the problem is, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. The problem is, is that they're putting up too many of those stores and they can't staff them. They're putting up too many of those stores and they cannot keep them staffed. Because the one around the corner from me in my neighborhood, sometimes they just close the store because they don't have the staff. They don't have people quitting, calling in or whatever. But then the other one in the other neighborhood, they always have that one staffed and that one, they always have, it's fully, always fully stocked and they always have it fully staffed. So I don't know what's the difference between that one and the one in my area. Um, I, I, you know, I, I got some theories as to why that is, um, but I'm not going to go into all that, but, um, that's the, that, and that was the issue that I was having. There, there's no consistent. Then there's another dollar general. I did another video in another dollar general in another neighborhood that had a little produce section. And so the problem is they don't have any consistency in their stores. It's like all I feel that all their stores should be the same. They should have the same stuff. One one Dollar General shouldn't be better than the other based on the location or where it's at or the neighborhood where it's at. You should have the same things in all stores that you do and, and having produce in one, but you ain't got produce, you know, in, in, the, in, in certain ones. And, and I think it's, it's, it's according to what neighborhood it's in. And so... They don't have no consistency for one thing. The, all their stores should be cohesive. They should have all the same things in, in all the stores. And then they, they're popping up. They're popping. All those stores are popping up all over the place. They're building so many of them. They can't keep them staffed. We got like 10 of them here. I think there's 10 of them here in my city. They don't make no sense. And then they can't keep them staffed. It's just ridiculous. The one around the corner for me is always closing up all the time because they can't keep it staffed. 
or they never you go in there I, I i just bypass it all together and go to the other one because you go in there and you <laughs> you try to i try to get what i need and i can't find what i need it's very frustrating so i just bypass it all together and just go to the other store i have to drive a little bit further and i had to kind of go out of my way which is an inconvenience but you know so i'm wondering if they you know they said something about they were going to build over a thousand stores, but then they were going to close some stores. So maybe they're going to close the underperforming, the stores that are underperforming, and the ones that they can't keep staffed. Um, well, first of all, if you pay your, your employees like you're supposed to pay them, then you don't have to worry about uh, not being able to keep staff. And a, a lot of the employees are overworked in the stores. They're overworked. They're overworking them because they don't have... Uh, the proper amount of staff like they're supposed to. So that's an issue. So they just, they just, I just think that they threw up too many of those stores. They just threw up too many of them. And they, you know, that's a problem. So let me know if you heard anything about the dollar, the dollar general's closing. Uh, I think they said they were going to close some Dollar Trees too, but I hope they don't close any one of my ones in my city. Um, I know they went up to a dollar twenty-five, and I'm not happy about that. I call it the dollar twenty-five tree. See, I put a little sugar. I don't put too much. Let me know how you like your rice. I don't put too much, but let me know. Let me know <coughs> if you heard anything about that. Them closing Dollar Generals and Dollar Trees. Because you know Dollar Generals and Dollar Trees are owned by the same company. Um, so let me know if you heard about that and what your thoughts are on it. How many Dollar Generals do you have in your area? <coughs> um, do they all have the same things? Or, you know, is, is some, one better than the other? Like in my city, you got some that's better than the other. So let me know. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know uh, what's going on with the Dollar Generals and Dollar Trees in your city. Okay, alright, to the next video.